Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Roblox Insider. Here are the 10 worst types of noobs on Roblox. Number 10, just join the game noob. This type is the most classic and definitely the most annoying. These players have a basic avatar and extreme lack of knowledge about the platform and everything is evident from their behavior around the server. These are the people who've just found out about Roblox, whether it be through searching on the internet, a friend, or just through YouTube. Whatever the reason might be, old and skilled players on Roblox just can't stand this type for some reason. If we must say, even if you were once a new player on the platform, some patience will do some good. Number 9, Too Good for Roblox Noob This noob is the one who makes a Roblox account only to hop into a game and start criticizing every other player who's just trying to enjoy themselves and have a good time. Even they don't know what's the reason behind their behavior. Do they seriously just hate Roblox and think a good use of their time is getting in a game and trying to convince the people who like it it's trash? Number 8, Alternate Account Noob This noob can go one of two ways. Either they appear to be a complete noob by rocking a pretty basic avatar or maybe with a weird name that's a bank of numbers, but regardless, when you see them in-game, you realize they're really good despite their avatar or name looks. Or they could actually be new players who just happen to play well. Nevertheless, they still claim they have an alternate account so they're not stigmatized right off the start. Pretty smart. Number 7, Minecraft is better noob. This noob is from the category that grew up playing Minecraft and still plays it to this day, but came to Roblox just for checking it out. These are the players who believe Roblox is a total ripoff of Minecraft and definitely think it's better. Every Robloxian will have come across this player or remained one themselves. Such types of players just make Roblox just to try and convince others on the server that Minecraft is better and then start criticizing what they get to play on Roblox. Number 6, the know-it-all noob. These types of noobs are often too stubborn to admit that they're noobs and try to do the ultimate efforts to prove they're not. They'll do this by either spewing random nonsense about the game that's being played or they try to play in such a way that proves their point. They pretend to be the know-it-all who has the most irregular and casual information about the game that you will instantly know it's complete gibberish. Whatever their intentions are, they proceed to do anything to refuse their noob status on the platform. Nonetheless, there's no harm in being in the learning process. You might actually get to learn a lot than just showing you know a lot. Number 5, Overly Friendly Noob. For this player, their main goal seems to be making friends off the platform, which is rather pure intention, but there's no doubt how it gets super creepy and annoying a few times. Making friends on Roblox is a huge part, hence the addition of the voice and text box and friend requests. However, since noobs are unaware of the protocols to go about on the platform, they end up making themselves look shady. Not everyone shares the same bot. Number 4, the spammy noob. This type of noob goes hand in hand with the overly friendly noob, especially when it comes to chat messages. They try to reach out to you and start conversations and it can instantly get annoying. These can also be from the classic just join the game noob category and resort to asking a ton of questions about the chat box. This might be fine when the questions only remain to a couple in quantity, but definitely not when they reach 100 together. Number 3, Aspiring Romance Noob What comes more annoying than a very friendly noob is one that aspires to seek a romantic relationship off the platform. These noobs seem to not read the terms of service when signing into the account and end up going against it. But let us tell you, when talking to others in a romantic way is actually against Roblox's terms of service, but sadly even then you'll come across these cases on the platform quite often. Usually it's with people who don't understand it's not allowed, so it's best you can do to ignore them and report them. Number two, the rich noob. One of the most obvious ways to tell a noob apart from all the other players on Roblox is obviously by the avatar. You can still be a noob and have a rocking avatar, but only if you're a rich noob who can buy accessories. These are introduced to Roblox through a friend or through a YouTuber and are instantly ready to spend money. Number one, the trolling noob. This noob is known for downloading easy to install hacking clients and earning crazy stats in games. It can be either because they want to troll or would rather not spend time getting good at the game. Trolls are generally all over Roblox and whether they're a noob or not, they're the absolute worst. Noobs are present on all social media platforms, basically, seeking ways to make themselves familiar with the platform. Regardless, if you do come across them, try to be patient with their bugging, or just totally ignore them. But this brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen, because I'm sure you'll love them. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.